Two major things just happened in the 3D AI space. Tencent released their cutting-edge Hanyuan 3D 3.0. But at the same time, another AI tool launched, not backed by a giant like Tencent. And it's already going head to head, even some cases suppressing Hanyuan 3D 3.0. Yes, even suppressing. And if you have been following my channel, you know this is not the first time I've covered it. Back when it was called Spark 3D, even version 1.0 was groundbreaking. This is a revolution in AI 3D modeling, literally. And I'm not sure where to start or how to start. Instead, let me show you a few models and explain what's going on. This is next-gen ultra-resolution 3D shape generation. I wanted to make a comparison video for this, but I wasn't able to find a counterpart. Introducing Spark 3D. I could talk a lot about its scientific papers and documentations, but the important thing is what it delivers to us in the end. Now it has evolved into Hightim 3D, and version 1.5 brings some major upgrades. Let's take a look. Hightim 3D 1.5 introducing some really big changes. Better output quality. Cleaner, sharper, production-ready models. 1536 Pro resolution. The precision focus core for expert creators. The amount of detail you can get is incredible. For quick drafts, there's also a cost-effective 512 mode. Faster, cheaper, perfect for hobbies. Portrait mode. Trained specifically for faces and characters. So you can get much more lifelike results. Multi-view feature. This one is really what I was looking for in an AI tool for a long time. Because if you combine this resolution with multi-view, we'll get something really really good. It solves the problem of missing or distorted backsides and makes the whole model way more precise. A retry system. 3 free regeneration per model, so you can refine results without wasting credits. And finally, seamless FBX, OBG and STL export with texture support, making it easy to drop your models right into Blender, Unity or any pipeline you are already working in. Now, I want to show you some models that I generated in both AI models. The first one is Dragon Head model. Here you can see the reference image I used and the final results. Yes, Hanyuan 3D 3.0 has evolved and reached its top point for now. Yes, I'll be honest, both models did a great job here. But guys, just look at this. I don't think I need to say something promotional about Hightum 3D's ability. Proportions are much, much better. Details are even sharper. It replicated the finest surface details of the model. Details are the horn are insanely good. Holy smokes. I mostly compare model generation because textures are somehow similar and AI is much better in mesh generation. But the color palette of Hightum 3D's textures is much closer to the reference image. Okay, let's check another example now. Here we have a portrait of me. The best thing about Hightum 3D is that it has a portrait mode. It's optimized and trained to generate human portraits better than any other AI model. So I used it to make a model of me and this is the result. If Hightum 3D didn't exist, I would call Hanyuan 3D's result the best one we can get now. But I think this one is better than Hanyuan 3D's model, especially if you look at facial details and proportions. Yes, none of them are providing the quality of a 3D artist yet, but Item 3D is superior here. Also, for some reason Hanyuan 3D generated two overlapping ties under the suit. Third model is a shield. Here Item 3D did a great job again. And when we look at the backside, we can see that it understands the back better and, and adds screws there. The surface details are better too. These screws are connected to the ones on the front side. Also, if you look at the ornaments, we can definitely see that Hightum 3D did a great job there. The only downside of Hightum 3D in this model is these radial screws. They could be a bit better, but I feel like if I generate the same model again, they can be fixed. These scratches are much more scratch-like in Hightum 3D's model. 
while on Hanyuan 3D's model, they look like a big screw. I don't know. Another example. This is a head model of a Viking, I would say. Both models are great, really, but if you want to see clarity and sharpness, we have to check Hytem 3D's model. The amount of detail is amazing. The horns, the screws. Objectively speaking, textures are also better on Hytem 3D's model. Colors are much more accurate. One more example, a sci-fi robotic head. Both models are detailed enough, but Hytem 3D generated some more details compared to Hanyuan 3D. And if you are not satisfied on the first try, remember, you can use the retry feature to regenerate and refine it. And finally, a bot. Don't know why Hanyuan 3D added these strange elements underneath it. And we have some hard edges on Hytem 3D's model. But based on the reference image, it added a floor to the model, which is a great thing. If I wanted to do a retopology and then bake all maps from high poly to low poly, I will definitely use this one, because here we have much more detail on the model, especially on the wooden planks. So, across all these tests, Dragon, Portrait, Shield, Robot, Bot, Hytem 3D 1.5, consistently delivered sharper details, more accurate proportions, and production-ready geometry. And depending on your workflow, you can switch between 1536 Pro for expert-level assets or 512 for quick, budget-friendly drafts. That's all for today. I hope this video was helpful. More exciting content about 3D art and 3D AI is on the way. And I'm pretty sure you won't want to miss it. So feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks in advance. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching. Stay in touch.